What's going on everyone? The competitor here back with another video. This time is the Johnny Cage guide for MK1. Johnny Cage is a very strong rushdown character in Mortal Kombat 1. In this guide we're going to go over his basics, I'll cover his key normals, his special moves, his hype meter, fatal blow properties, game plan, his best cameo, and some sample combos. So let's jump right into this. Johnny Cage's key normals we're going to talk about today. Uh, he has 1-1. One, one. So this string is a high, this is your fastest combo starter, and it has two extensions off of it. There's 1-1-2, one, one, and then there's 1-1-4. One, one, now these are really good on block for different reasons. If we set the opponent to block all, 1-1-2 one, one, is safe on block, it's minus 5, meaning that I can recover and block the opponent's counterattack. Now 114, however, is extremely plus on block. We're gonna turn the reversal off. At plus seven, however, there's a huge gap there and you can get full comboed for doing it. So use this one sparingly. The key thing to take from this though is the 1-1. One, one. So 1-1 one, one as a stagger is insane. It's plus three on block, which means that you're three frames of advantage over your opponent. So this means that you can use your Forward 3, which is the next key move to stop them from pressing a button. So because this is plus 3 on block, and this comes out in 9 frames, it technically is like a 6 frame attack, because they're in a 3 frame deficit. So, Reptile has a 7 frame poke, just like most of the cast, aside from Johnny. So we're going to set him to reversal, and he's going to poke. He's poking on reversal as fast as he can. Right, so if I try to double down one, it won't let me. So if I do 1-1, one, one, forward 3 is going to beat it every time. Which means, you know, that's a full combo every time that they press there. And that's why I think it's a key attack. 1-1 um, one, one into forward 3 pressure is going to be Johnny's main game plan. However, there are a bunch of other strings that we need to get to as well. He has 2-1. 2-1 two, one. Uh, two, one is a great stagger as well at minus 1. And I mentioned that Johnny has a 6 frame poke, so you could really do that and check them with a down 1 after. Um, it's also great to go into throws after, you know, because they're expecting the other parts of the string. 2-1 two, has two different extenders. So there's 2-1-2, two, two, which ends in an overhead and is safe on block. And then there's 2-1-4-4. Two, four, four. Now both are good for different reasons. 2-1-2 two, two on hit launches for a full combo well 2144 knocks down now there's a downside to 212 212 can be up blocked for a full combo which makes going for 2144 the safer option now 2144 has an armorable gap at the end of it but most people aren't going to be armoring that and they aren't expecting it and if they start armoring it that's where you can really just blow them up for uh, staggering, right? So like if you do 214, because 214 is minus 8 on block, but you know if they're trying to armor, chances are, unless you know, you're know you Johnny Cage with reversal, shadow kick, uh, they're not going to be able to punish it. So you could always stagger that bait armor. Really good string, and it should be one of your main pressure tools. The next one to get to, uh, forward 1. So forward 1 has forward 1, 2, 3 off of it which is such a great string because it has no gap in it and it pushes the opponents back to like that perfect footsie range you want to play in with Johnny Cage, right? Now on the other side of it, if you end up hitting uh, forward one, two, four lets you do a full combo. So this is where hit confirming comes into play and I have a great video that you can look at in the description here um, regarding how to hit confirm with this thing with the string specifically as a uh, Johnny Cage but it goes for a lot of other things in the game but uh, just for general rule it's really good to learn how to do with Johnny Cage and then um, I think the last thing we need to get to here really are some key normals like back three uh, back three is such a great whiff punish tool from far range because like from back here you know forward one might reach sometimes but it's a high so if the opponents are trying to do like, uh, you know, if they're poking and stuff, forward one's going to go right over their head. 
And forward three, while it being a god, it, it's a god button, right? It's a nine frame mid. We've been wanting this forever. Uh, it, it's pretty stubby. So, you know, for reacting and with punishing to things, back three is going to be your main go-to from further ranges. But be careful, though, because it is unsafe on block. Um, some characters can punish. Others may not be able to in time unless they're really ready for it. But I know some characters like Sub-Zero and Melina down ones can punish at max range. So just be wary of that when you throw it out. But it is such a great button for anti-airing and for whiff punishing. So for example, we'll, uh, we'll set Reptile to do his reversal down one, you know, something like that. And, you know, let's say uh, we do, you know, stand two and try to forward three, right? Like, you know, we're getting caught, whatever, we need to stand back further. That's where this button, you know, if you react to it, you can't really whiff punish with forward three. So this is where you'd use, like, back three and go for it. Whereas, like, you know, if you try to forward one, that's a high, you know, and Reptile will just hit you, right? So if you try to whiff punish stuff from further ranges, you might not catch, so. That's where I think back three is really good, and there's countless examples of me whiff punishing people with that. Um, his down one being six frames, you can actually poke out of certain gaps that a lot of characters can't. And uh, his down three and down four have pretty good range. His down three low profiles a lot of stuff, so um, using that is, it, it's a really good uh, footsie tool. But down four has more pushback on it, so like you could do down four, back three people trying to counter poke, you know, dependent on character. But uh, I, I just think it's a really good footsie tool. And uh, last but not least, let's talk about the full forward three string. So Johnny has two strings off of forward three. He has forward three two one and forward three four. Forward 3-4 is going to be your meterless combo launcher. Um, you know, you can do some basic things like this. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. You can do some basic combos, just like stuff like that. Um, I opt to go for a little bit simpler of a combo just for tournament situations. So I like to just do uh, Forward 3-2-1 Shadow Kick. But, um... Yeah, it, it's it's basically going to be your meterless punish. You don't want to throw it out all the time, though, on block. Because while safe, they could not only uh, up block this gap and destroy you for it, they can just poke it. So people can interrupt it, um, which effectively kills your stagger game. But uh, what they can't interrupt is forward 3 two, one And this string is safe on block. You see Reptile can't poke or punish or anything. And what makes this really good is that there's no gap with Shadow Kick at the end. So, like, we'll get into pressure later, but, you know, you could do things like this. And, uh, Jails. So, forward 3 2 is gonna be your main pressure string. Um, you know, it's a very easy hit confirm. Forward 3 2, you confirm into a full combo, uh, with Rising Uppercut. Otherwise, do forward 3 2 1 on block. And then that opens up your stagger game with forward 3 into throws and stuff. And I think that covers all of his key normals. Let's move on to his special moves. Johnny has a few new tricks up his sleeve with his special moves in this game. The biggest thing to note though is he doesn't have his force balls anymore. He's had them in every Mortal Kombat leading up to this one. So they decided to make him a full rushdown character. And while the change was weird to adjust to, I'm starting to like it. So let's go over his uh, key special moves. Returning is his nut punch. It's unsafe on block as normal, but on hit, it causes a knockdown with 40 hit advantage. This could lead to some setup potential, like with Kung Lao hats and stuff like that. And it's almost safe enough for a safe jump. You can catch a lot of people with a jump and attack afterwards. EX is invulnerable, just like MK9. However, you can still be grabbed, but it will go through any attacks. That's why it costs two bars a meter to do. And it leaves them standing up so that you can continue your pressure or go for a throw. His next special move, Rising Star, down back three. Back from uh, previous iterations of Johnny Cage. And it doesn't combo meterlessly in this, but however, on meter burn, it does allow you. 
to continue combos. They're both unsafe on block, however, so that's mainly used just as a combo extender and pressure tool with the correct cameos. Now obviously returning is a shadow kick, it's pretty fast, it's still a high in this game. Um, you know, they can duck under it and whatnot, but it reaches pretty far and it's great for punishing projectiles. And enhanced, it's his armor move, and it is also the fastest armored reversal in the game. So if you're testing if stuff is safe against armor, test it against Johnny Cage. Now next is one of his new special moves, he has a command dash. This down forward 3 dash allows him to cancel out of uh, special moves in hype mode and its main purpose is to dash through projectiles. You can also double dash with it. Um, so this is just one way to close the gap with Johnny, however I don't find myself doing it often. Um, the EX one I sometimes will go through a projectile with um, in very unique situations and it's also used for hype combos. His next move he has a parry. It's a high parry only, um, meaning well, it will parry mids and highs and overheads, but it will not parry lows. So lows, jump-ins, projectiles will blow it up. But it's really good because it builds additional hype meter, which we'll talk about in a second. And then he has his throwing shades. It's a, It does 7% damage. The enhanced does just slightly more, but uh, there's not too many practical uses for this, as it doesn't even combo into itself or anything. Like... I, I don't really know the point aside from uh, building hype meter with it. So if you guys have any cool sunglasses setups, let me know in the comments. I just, I don't get the point of this move. But uh, moving on, let's talk about his hype meter. Hype is a trait unique to Johnny Cage. This is indicated by the star in the bottom left corner of the screen. So what hype allows you to do is special cancel up to three times which allows for crazy pressure and combo sequences. So, in order to build hype, it's done by one, simply landing any special moves. So landing Nut Punch, uh, you know, brings a little bit of hype up. Rising Star brings it up a bit, Shadow Kick, things like that. The one that does the most is Parry. It fills about maybe a quarter of the star, maybe a little bit less. So parry's pretty good for it, but it's not the best way. Now, there are multiple ways that you can build this as well. So doing your taunt fills it halfway, so just by teabagging. Uh, forward down back four is uh, the main taunt for it, I guess, because this is also the input to go into hype mode. And as you'll see, you know, you can do multiple shadow kicks, multiple nut punches into a dash, you do shadow kick, uppercut, any combination of his special moves and hype. Um, other ways to build hype are with uh, canceling special moves into taunts. So every special move that he has, well most of them, have a way to cancel the move or end of the move uh, and then hold L2 and it has different properties that charges hype. So for example, regular shadow kick, on hit, you know, Johnny can block right away. But if you hold L2, it charges his hype meter. Now, it charges it almost all the way. However, this is extremely unsafe. Same thing with his rising uppercut. You could charge it after by holding L2. It almost fills it all the way. However, that's extremely unsafe to do and the opponent can get up and press buttons on you. Um, nut punch is really good for it as well. Um, this one, the nut punch doesn't actually come out. It actually cancels you doing the punch, but this is one of the fastest ones to do. Um, especially, you know, with the quick recovery. However, the fastest way to build his hype up, in my opinion, is going to be doing forward down back four, and then canceling his shades throw one. Just because they recover extremely quick, that fills the hype meter all the way up. Now this specific one is really good for combos, because if you look, uh, Johnny Cage with the uh, Cyrax net, if he lands a net, he could actually combo after the net, after doing both of these uh, taunts. So, net, immediately do this, immediately shades cancel, boom. You got full hype and you could still combo him. So that's the fastest way to do it. 
However, the situations are different depending on, you know, what goes on. So for example, this is a setup that I like to do, is if I end a combo with Shadow Kick, I like to extend the Shadow Kick, so we're gonna do this, and call out Cyrax to kinda cover me if the opponent tries to approach. So you know, if I, did, if I, did, if I just did something like, uh... Just something like that so the opponent can't dash up and try to attack me afterwards. It's not 100% safe, you know, projectiles could still hit you, things like that, but it's pretty good. Another one to quickly build hype is a meterless conversion. Let's say you have the life lead or something like that. Uh, you know, you could do, uh, you know, 214 Rising Star and charge it while Cyrax does that, and you see you get pretty much a full star. It's pretty powerful. Now, one more thing to mention is if you end the round, so, like, the Shadow Kick or the Rising Star ends the round, like, going end of round 1 and round 2. You can actually hold L2, and it will charge it up during, like, the taunt screen, like, when they're walking away after the round ends. Like, it's extremely powerful and one of the best ways to charge it. But, uh, yeah, now that we've talked about, you know, the properties of using, uh, of how to charge hype and how to use this in a match um let me just show you some example combos of me hitting hype stuff and you can really freestyle with this the pressure is insane and the combo potential is insane here's some clips Cage's Fatal Blow has three properties to it. One, it could just be a normal mid-attack. When you just press it and don't hold it or anything, it's just a normal mid-attack. That starts up into any Fatal Blow, so you could combo into it. Just your normal Fatal Blow properties, right? Then, if he holds it down, or, well, I guess if, if you hold it down all the way, as soon as his butt, his belt buckle flashes, as soon as his belt buckle flashes, you'll see right here, right here, it becomes an unblockable attack. Meaning if they're trying to block or whatever, they're just sitting back waiting, it's going to full combo them. And like I said, that could, I, I've made some demonstrations on Twitter and stuff like, in a Cyrax net, you could charge this up, and no matter if they try to jump or what, it's gonna hit them in Fatal Blow. It's really cheap. Really cheap stuff. I don't know why they made that unblockable. It's funny. It's really trolly. And then, number three, this has a parry property. This is the best parry in the game by far. So, to parry with this move, you simply hold down both your Fatal Blow buttons. So, in this case, L2 and R2. And this whole time, Johnny Cage has a parry that's active. And, you know, if you attack him, you get counter hit into Fatal Blow. Now, it's really important to note, most Fatal Blows don't have armor until I, a few frames after startup. I think it's after five frames they have armor on them. So it's possible to stuff the Fatal Blows with a normal attack or something of the sort. Johnny's, 
is not his parry is not active on frame five. I think it is active frame two, just like his EX parry. Um, because you can stuff it if like your move is already coming out and it's about to hit and they try to react in Fatal Blow. But I've reacted to throws with Fatal Blow and several other attacks and you know it, it parries it instantly so there's only like one or two frames where you can actually stuff it before the parry becomes active and it's super powerful for reacting to things now just to show some demonstrations it doesn't just parry you know normal mid and high attacks and throws i'm going to show you right here it parries lows um hello I don't know what happened there, but uh, yeah. So you'll see it parries lows. It parries jump-ins. And it even parries projectiles from close ranges. This includes Sub-Zero's Ice Clone, if, you're, if he's in close proximity to it, Kenshi's Sento, and just normal projectiles from up close. Like I'll do Reptile's Acid Spit. So it's extremely powerful. Now the counters to this, there are two easy counters to this. One, jump over and full combo punish. I don't know why Reptile jumped back over a second time. That was goofy. Yeah, I don't know. The AI is being really goofy with that. I'll just jump over and sweep. Yeah, so you could just jump over and punish it, or... Not throw. Cameo. Cameos will punish them, and you can't parry cameos. So, obviously use your cameo launcher to counter this. That's probably the best way to deal with it. But, yeah, that's Johnny Cage's Fatal Blow in a nutshell. Um, there It is a little bit tricky, though, because if you're just waiting to whiff punish it, he also can dash out of it so it's worth noting um you know it's very easy to whiff punish and very predictable but you know he can do it and he also can double dash so just keep note of that however he's not invulnerable during it so you can smack him for it with punish whatever it is but that's basically all the properties to his fatal blow it's probably the most complicated one in the game and it leads to some fun mind games and some silly Okay, with this portion of the guide, I'm going to be going over the synergy with Cyrax and why I mainly use him with Johnny Cage. Other cameos work really well and can do a lot of the same things, but I think Cyrax is just simply the best, you know, for the current meta, as uh, all of you may know. So, if you guys find this uh, useful, let me know in the comments which synergy guide you want to make next, and I can go more in depth if you want to see, you know, Striker, Goro, whoever for Johnny Cage. But anyways, let's jump into Cyrax. So the reason Cyrax is so good is for three reasons. The pressure, the combo potential, and the hype meter build. So going over the pressure, I'm sure this is no secret to anyone following the game, but uh, you know, with Cyrax, you can cover a lot of block strength and special moves to either make them safe or plus on block. So like with Johnny Cage, a jailing sequence of pressure would look something like this. And all that is jailing, they can't armor out, whatever it may be. Same thing with, you know, after, uh, you know, you can do stuff like this. And all kinds of crazy block strings. A uh, really good one is down one into Rising Star. They continue your pressure off a of counter poke. And you could just get really creative with that and it adds to his pressure. Because as we went over in his game plan, right, like his pressure is really all just highs. So if he does his mid, it generally ends his turn unless you are really conditioning them with staggers. So like being able to jail off your mid and keep your pressure going is actually kind of crazy. So other than that, we have a uh, hype build. So some ways that I like to build hype with Johnny is, uh, you know, mid screen. I like to actually do this because it charges the most hype. So that fills about almost all of the uh, star for Johnny, and then all you have to do is duck under one projectile, 
and you have full hype and you're ready to go. Another setup that I like to do commonly is ending combos with a shadow kick into uh, the charge. But however, it's super unsafe and you know, characters might throw a projectile or someone might dash up and try to full combo you. This isn't 100% safe, but this is really good to end combos with uh, to stop their advance afterwards. So I like to end with shadow kick and throw out Cyrax to kind of cover your tracks because it will break some armor and while it's not guaranteed it's just it's really good for keeping them out and making them think and stay on their toes so I think that's a really good thing to end combos with if you're trying to get uh, some height charge just something like that right um, aside from that, Johnny Cage can also combo off of his uh, full throws with Cyrax, so off his forward throw, you know, if you meter burn it with Cyrax, you know, you get a combo launcher, it costs two bars, that's no secret, he can do that with any character, uh, just as long as you have Cyrax, right? But now the back throw, normally can't combo off of it by normal means, but um, with Cyrax, Johnny can actually get a stand for shadow kick. Which is really, really powerful if you need that little bit of extra damage to close out a round. It's a little bit tricky to time, but... You want to get it right before he hits him in the knee. Oh, I missed the stand four. Yeah, it looks just like that. So, the timing takes a lot of practice, and I do it seldom in matches, but, uh, you know, it has helped me close out rounds. And it's especially nice if they, uh, if they do an up block, right? Because, uh, I guess, uh, I don't know why they're not, uh, up blocking, but if I record him to... Right, if you throw punish on an up block, it does more damage, so... Let's see if we can get some extra damage here. Yeah, so that's a 20% throw, you know, if they do an up block or whatever, so empty jump uh, throw, things like that. So that's super, super strong. Now, um, out of the main reason why Cyrax is also really good aside from the pressure, I mean, the combo potential, right? So after any combo that you end with Nut Punch, you could call in Cyrax and do jump 2-2 two, two. or jump 2-2-4 two, two, or 1-2-4 I go for 1-2-4 because it's more consistent so you know any combo uh, 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 attacks on a nice bit of damage so it's super powerful especially for corner carry and whatnot and to close out rounds but um, another reason he's really good is simply for his uh, Nut Punch. So Johnny's EX Nut Punch leaves them standing, and Cyrax allows you to combo afterwards. So you get a Wake Up Invincible Launcher. Right, it's, it's really powerful for that. And, you know, continue combos such as, you know, doing stuff like this mid-screen and in the corner. But, uh... The, the biggest part about this is obviously tying in the hype. This allows Johnny to do his hype combos off of it, mid-screen or the corner. Anything into EX Nut Punch Cyrax allows you to combo into hype with Stamp 4, just like this. You know, it's, it's really powerful. Uh, especially in the corner, obviously. Um... Right, you could do some big combos there. But uh, that's just why Cyrax is generally the best. He does like what Kano did in the beta, just a little bit more effective. Rather than staying safe off of his block strings and doing chip, he uh, he's plus and continuous pressure. Um, I guess that pretty much covers everything. The throws, the pressure, the combo potential, the hype build. 
Cyrex is just the perfect character for uh, Johnny as a cameo. Um, other ones, not saying other ones don't work, but I just prefer Cyrex. Plus, you could do neat little things like this, too, I've been experimenting with. Um, getting out of the corner and whatnot. So, like, you could do uh, stuff like... Uh, to, like, dash through him and get out of the corner, and that jails. And on hit, you could combo. It's pretty neat. So... Cyrex has all kinds of utility for Johnny Cage. Um, the net, it's a really good check on people. Like, you know, if they're zoning and stuff, it kind of keeps them humble because you could get a full combo off it. And before I forget, there is one more thing uh, to note with hype. So you can special cancel your nut punch into Cyrax net in hype. So normally, EX nut punch, you can't special cancel it or anything, right? But, uh... If you do two nut punches, you could actually combo it into the net. So. Oops, my bad. In the corner. In the corner. And that's really good because then you could build more hype and continue your combo. So, like, just for the full sequence. I'm sure if you guys have been watching my other videos, you've seen me do this already in matches. But, uh, you know, you have hype activated. You know, um, you can end with a double nut punch into Cyrex and call another nut. And then you could build more hype for either the next time, for a reset, whatever it may be. Uh, and it's just extremely powerful. And that pretty much covers all of the main uses for Cyrex as Johnny Cage. I think uh, we covered all the little details here at the end as well, even though they're not as practical or as useful, um, well, I wouldn't say that, but, you know, they're, they're pretty much, they're pretty strong, but maybe you don't use these, uh, things as common, but it's still good to know, and I feel like once you master this stuff with Johnny Cyrax, you should be grinding your way through combat. <laughs> Yeah. 